Yo, no, it's broken! Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on our new video. In this video with the bus bums, Brandon and I go purchase a 1977 Lesprit camper. It's a shame we couldn't be driving it. <laughs> See you later! So you probably want a little backstory on why the camper is being towed away. And um, this right here is why. Cool! We bought a lemon! Yo, no, it's broken! So this all started when I, I started scrolling through Facebook, scroll, 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 like one does, and I came across a beautiful 1977 Dodge Sportsman Travco Lesprit, beautiful fiberglass body, and amazing shape, it had a, just a perfect patina on it, I needed it. <gasps> I want that. So I ran over to Caitlin, and I was like, look, 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 look. No. No. We just bought a bus a couple of months ago. We're literally in the middle of converting a 40-foot Bluebird TC2000. And like, we're not you, done yet. You do realize that. Like, we just wrapped up framing the bathroom. We just got your... You just started basically but getting Caitlin, things. But Caitlin, I, I want have it. to. We just I got kicked to. out. I don't want to live in your parents' basement anymore. Because that's, that's where we went after we got kicked out of the... Uh, out of the bus. So I moved into her parents' basement and I just wanted to be out. So it, the winter was coming. Winter was coming. And we figured it'd be great to stay at a state park over the winter. We, we were really See? familiar with Caesars Creek. It was only 22 feet long. It would be a nice little starter for a tiny space. We were going to move in with these two behemoths. Figure out how to go from 22 <laughs> feet to 40 feet would be a lot easier. A lot easier than, than going, going the other way. Was, but she said... No. No. <laughs> I definitely said no for probably I was like, a come week. Come on, come on, come on. Let me. I said, well, let's go look at it. I sent the woman a message, uh, Susan. She was such a nice lady. Uh, sent her, sent her a message, and I said, come on, let's just go look at it. I want to just at least see it. So I reluctantly agreed. Then we get inside, and it's incredible. It's 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 quintessential seventies. It has a shag orange carpet. It's got. It's got like a plaid stripe. It's not, it's not plaid, but it's striped. It's striped uh, green, orange, and like yellow couch. <laughs> Very it has retro. A, it has a it has a shiny foil, gold and silver paintbrush strokes in the bathroom for the wallpaper. The thing is legitimately quintessential seventies. And I fell in love with it. I pulled Brandon to the side and I said, okay. Brandon, can we have this? I guess we can <laughs> And buy I it. said, no. <laughs> He's lying. No, I, I was like, yes, absolutely. Thing had a 440 in it. It started over the first click over. Well, at least for Susan. <laughs> <laughs> we had some problems there. This after. is how it started for us. <laughs> right there. It's cold out here. Mm hmm. Gas lines are bad. We got it started, we got the license plate put on, and we drove it away. How far did we get? Two miles? Maybe. 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 To the nearest gas station. We got to the next gas station. They had boiled peanuts. We knew we needed to get some gas, so we started pumping gas into it. And Absolutely, we needed gas. We, we put in, what, five gallons at the the house that we purchased it from. We got it two miles down the road and... We started putting gas in it and then all the gas that we were putting in it started to come out of it. And that isn't necessarily what you want when you're at the gas station. So what's going on? 
the gas tank is leaking. Oh, yeah, there's a... Okay, let's pause for a moment. I think it's worth mentioning the date on the battery. That's a 17-year-old battery. And it started over just fine. Oh, that's not good. That's terrible. That's not good at all. Yeah, we're gonna keep finding holes and stuff. I think we bought a lemon. Hopefully it won't be a lemon when we're done with it, though. Oh, well, this gas is so expensive. Get some duct tape. <laughs> you think we should have a toad? So we decided since we didn't know what we were doing, the best bet was to call a tow truck. How many tow trucks did you call? I called all of them that were in the area. <laughs> all of them, yeah. Okay. Um, that were advertised on Google. All of all of the ones that come up when you search for tow trucks that can do campers. And I called every single one of them. I was told by five of them that they don't tow ooh, campers. Ooh. It was a holiday. Well, let him drain. That's what it was. It was a, it holiday. Was a holiday. It's always a holiday. It's or a always Sunday. a holiday or a Sunday when we need to do things. <laughs> we were about twenty to. 20 minutes to 45 minutes from all the different towing places and all of them just kept telling me that they didn't tow we're not gonna, our type of vehicle. Well, or we're not going to send our guy out tonight. Yeah, or th the one person that I really respected their answer was like, hey, we have a guy, but he wants to, like, we need to get him home to his family. He's been out for a really long time. I did find out that one of the companies blatantly lied to me because the company who did come out, Sandy's, Sandy's Towing. Sandy's Towing. Great the company, company who did come out told me that they specifically knew that this other company did tow campers, and then we passed their lot with multiple campers and multiple wreckers that could have towed our vehicle. No problem. So we had to pay a lot extra to get Sandy's Towing from Middletown. Because it was further. To come all the way out. Took the guy, what, an hour to get to us. It was us. a fair amount of time. All the while we have someone else's child with us. Yeah, the neighbor's <laughs> child decided to come on a trip with us. It'll be fun, they so said. So he's just sitting in the car, <laughs> freaking out. Just Well, I think the whole time he's talking to us about how he wants to be a tow tr truck driver, how he wants to be an, uh, an MMA fighter. and Yeah, he's, he's got he's a lot of be, plans. He's going to be a, a lot WWE of plans wrestler. For a 14-year-old boy. <laughs> God, this is what I want to do when I'm 16. Yeah. I and mean, this was, what, two years ago? So. Wow, it's been that long. Yeah, it's wow, been a long time. It's been time. so long. They come out. They tow us to a tire discounters. I requested they replace the shocks and the springs, but they only replaced the shocks and the tires. Um, and the tires, and then and they fixed the uh, gas leak, well, which was just a short little rubber hose that fed. It was just the uh, inlet for the generator. We have a big old generator on the. Yeah, so it's just a, a hose from the 70s that needed to be replaced. Yeah, Not four, too big year old, All of the rubber on this camper needs to be replaced. So. Then we get told by tire discounters everything is fine. It should be perfectly drivable. So we drive it. We so drive we, it. We move it to uh, we moved it to Caesars Creek. We moved into it. We had a high old time. We, we, um, we stayed there for a month and a half. A month and a half. Should we throw this away? Or would you know that? Well, I think it's fine. I mean, it, it, is, it is a little melted. <laughs> Should we try to fill it at Walmart? But I think we could fill it. Look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. Oh, hi, Chippers. Are both puppies off leash? No. no. I can't do this part. Okay. I can't do this part. Oh, found her. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm going to right here. <laughs> Puppy! Good boy, yeah. Stay here you go, good. Brandon. Thank you, love. Will you get up? Up, up? Up, up? Yeah. Come Chipper? on, up, up. You're going to turn your head? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. Guys, why aren't you listening? Hello, little porgy fella. Yeah, um, while we're at the camper, I get my wisdom teeth taken out. Sorry. I recovered from his bite. 
We, we found them in a parking lot, for that matter. I mean, we would mentioned this in a... Uh, we will definitely go through we'll, we'll, we'll what go, happened. We'll go into Founder. He, no no he, worries. No worries on his part. Um, he's my stink. So, we did Christmas. Uh, his nose is blinking. <laughs> yeah. I think it's to tell you that it shines. We enjoyed um, the polar vortex in the camper. Yeah, negative 30 in the camper. And Easy, negative the, 30, bunch of snow. The too. kicker that got me was how beautiful it was, but I loved the fact that we were going to be able to do winter in a camper to prove to everyone that it's not that difficult. Got a rainy day. Warm though. It's our bedding. It's our mattress pad. Got a, sorry, put a step in your face. Looks like we got a small drip right there. Pretty heavy rain, so let's hope it remains small. <laughs> I had one over here earlier. Like, I've got some things to track down. Oh, oh no, not our second light. Oh, I just broke the other one yesterday. Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh well. All right. Love the sound right. Really hope that leak that we had the other day and I subsequently fixed is still fixed. It'll drip right above my head where I sleep. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video. I hope you really enjoyed it. We tried something different this time. We had a lot of fun and the camper was great. More on the bus build next video. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. It really helps us out. Thanks again. Watch us next time, bye.